Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef, we're back playing Generation Zero! I did a little gamey gamey looty looty exploration of the bunker that we found last time and some weird things happened that's going to be hard to explain. I, I noticed these screens, look. These screens, that's totally the Commodore 64 boot screen where you'd have to type in commands to load games from an audio tape. Ah, oh, the good old days. Anyway, uh, one of the things I noticed is that the enemies in this area actually do seem to respawn, which is a little bit, a little bit worrying for me. I don't know if I've actually been in here or not. So yeah, oh god, I've lost my train of thought again. So yeah, the room it saved me in wasn't the room that I left when I unlocked the, the safe zone. And so you kind of have to navigate your way back if you need to, to go back there. I also had this bizarre... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Were uh -oh. oh. well, those guys in the bloody ceiling? You, you can not kill me, please. I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, as you notice, the um, and he said the zombies, the enemies are respawning, which according to the devs, they're not supposed to do that. Oh god, do you see that one bloody strife? No. They're not that difficult to avoid. You, you can just take a couple of steps backwards and tend to be alright. They just catch you off guard so often. And by you, I mean me. And I'm trying to explain things. God damn it. What was I trying to explain? Oh, yeah, I was having to explore around this bunker. This uh, safe house, apparently. And uh, I was going through doors and, you know, upstairs and all sorts of things. And uh, I found this door to the outside, and when I went out there, there was like probably about a dozen of those um, soldier robots out there. The, the quadruped ones with the green armor. And they just, they beat the goddamn hell out of me. I did end up winning that combat. But it was um, it was it was rough. What it did result in is me leveling up. I got a whole level from that one battle. So I, this looks different. Sure, why not? There there was a big big patch, big update um, yesterday I think or the day before. Nine point seven gig. Yeah, big 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 update so a lot of things have changed anyway so I got the carry capacity upgrade which is a good thing it's just it was so weird I was complaining how it was gonna take me ages to level up and get that that inventory upgrade and then I just I just had one one encounter one battle and got it Yeah, die. I'm going to see if I can find that door to the outside. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Oh, God, these things. Yeah, I'll see if I can find that door to the outside. And I wonder... Because I wonder, if the enemies respawn there, could I just not kill all the enemies and then like save and quit and then kill all the enemies and like farm XP there I don't according to the devs this is it's not supposed to work that way the enemies are not supposed to respawn there is apparently a bug that makes them respawn with one HP but you still get experience for them I think oh god what is that doing there that wasn't a good time to reload, was it? Is it spotted me? 
Well, it spotted me or not, it's dead. So now I have to deal with robots in the safe houses. In the safe zones. And again, let's say, I've killed this thing already, but apparently... I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't imagine the devs would lie or be wrong about their own game. But when they tell you the enemies aren't supposed to respawn and then they do, and then they, you know, they respawn because of a bug that gives them one HP and they've obviously got more than one HP. I'm not sure what to think, to be honest. It's all a little strange to me. Now, I have no idea where that door was that I found last time. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's not better than what I've already got. Yeah, I, I could have sworn it was up here somewhere. This might be it, actually. It was up a bunch of stairs. And then through, like, a single door. And I thought it was... Oh, it might be... Might be right here. Let me have a look. Yeah, there's more stairs. Let me just see if there's any spider bots lurking. No, apparently not. Yeah, it was a, a bizarre experience. There was just enemies and enemies and enemies out there. Yep, there it is. That's the door. Let me switch to me riffle. I can't really tell if they've... if they're out here or not. Like, there was one, and when I attacked it, like, four of them turned up. And when I attacked that one, a bunch more turned up, and there was just more and more and more and more. I'm just gonna grab me shotgun for a sec. Apparently there is something up there. And not anything down there. This is exactly where it was. It was... Probably about 10 of those green quadruped, you know, robots, the ones that jump at you and zap you. Apparently there is one over there. It might be one left over. <laughs> can't see it. I can't see it. Oh, God. I'm already scared. I've taken three steps out of the safe house. Wait, and now it's back there? Did I run past it somehow? Huh, that's weird. Yeah, apparently it's it's here. Look. Now it's behind me. Now it's in front of me. Hmm. Anyway, let's go and actually do something. This is a safe house that I can come back to any time. And I've got to... What am I looking for? Defensive position. Assault Holm Stun Gun. Excuse me, I've got an itchy ear roll. Ugh, my apologies. I had to stop and move about and have a little scratch. Yeah, so that place has a defensive location. I've got to reach the naval base. I've got so many things to do. It's ruins of some castle. Um, find the naval base bunker and then find all of the warboards. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just explore. These places look fairly important. Oh, what is this? Calling for help. Another castle. I didn't realise it actually marked them on the map. Did it do that before? First contact, payback mission. Okay, now I'm really confused. Did that bug, or, or uh, did that bug, did that patch actually stop marking things on my map? So that's unbearable lightness. Is that on the map? Calling for help. Answers mission. I am really confused now. Ah, screw it. I'm just going to go and explore. Let's have some fun. Oh. Uh, I mean, I can hear 
an enemy, but there doesn't actually seem to be one there. So uh, I'm just going to head over to the the marker that I've put down. And hope that I don't get ambushed in the meantime. <laughs> oh, oh. Here we go. It's so dark. So weird and creepy. And look, I'm still really confused about that whole thing with those enemies that were there. I wasn't recording. I was just intending to have a looty lootage. So I didn't have to... Um, I didn't want to really do it like on camera, so to speak. I can't imagine you guys find that particularly interesting. Watching me loot 90... Was it 92 boxes? And then complaining that my inventory management sucks. Ooh. This is Victorp. Apparently. Alright, well, at least I'm up on a hill. Don't see any... Any murderous body things. How do I get down there without breaking legs, do you think? There does appear to be a road there. Maybe I should just head for the road? Do you reckon that might be sensible? Yeah, I don't know. Right, I'll loot this place and I'll bring you guys back in a moment. Sooner, if I find anything, you know, spectacular. Okay, right, that's me back. Not really a hell of a lot going on down here. So, um, let's go and run down to the next place which is down here. There does appear to be a lighthouse there, look. That's an interesting landmark. It seems like a place robots might like to secure. I don't know. I'm running across rocks and there was a road on the map, I think. Yeah, look, there's a path here somewhere. Is that down the beach or is that up on here somewhere? I, I'm not sure. You can tell that I'm great with maps, can't you? I'm actually further away from the supposed path now. Alright, let's go for a run down the beach, I guess. What's that over there? That's oh, just a shiny rock, I guess. Yeah, so they made a few changes to this. It is mostly bug fixes and... You know, they did things with the... The inventory and the combat system is a little changed. It's it was a big update, but they were it was a an accumulation of small changes. I think is the best way to phrase it. Ooh, relay beacon. Ooh, ooh, lots of experience. Where is that? Oh, it's right in front of me. Uh, track. That does mean there's gonna going to be. Oh, I pressed, like, four different buttons at once. I pressed escape and one at the same time somehow. No idea how I managed that. Why? Oh, yeah, I, I fiddled with the, the ammo. And uh, the result of that was I need to reload everything. There's a doggy there. Apparently out of range. It's so difficult to see in this light. No, out of range. Oh god, they are shooting right at me though. I need to get closer but also stay under cover. That's not an easy task. Ow. Could you stop it please? There we go, got that one. Apparently there's multiple. I, I don't want to call them doggies. I don't want to call them doggies. They're really not doggies. Uh oh. Um, alright. We're gonna... Just do some of this. No. That one. Sorry, I forgot what... Button I had them on. That... Really didn't help me that much, did it? 
It's good for... Oh, God. It's good for confusing them, but it also seems to confuse me. And I... I don't want to get confused. I'm already being shot at. Yeah, got that one. Right. You have to excuse me if I keep going silent. It's just these... I'm not used to, like, first-person shooters. And I don't really play a lot of stealth games either. Oh, you poop face. Where'd it go? the hell? No. Oh god, it shot me to pieces. I am stood out in the open. There's not really anyone to blame except me. Just have a couple of those and let me sort me guns out again. Alright. No, I don't want that one. I want this one. Now... Do you reckon there's going to be more of them up there? I mean, there's a beacon and a lighthouse. I'd kind of be surprised if there wasn't more of them up there. Like, oh, yeah, look. Oh, look, hello. How did I not see you sooner? Very odd. Now, where are these other doggy robots that I destroyed? I, I keep calling them dogs. I don't want to call them dogs. Just because they're quadrupeds, it doesn't make them dogs. Oh, there's another one here somewhere then. Oh, look. Right there. I got used to hitting... To, like, one-hitting them. Just getting that fuel cell. Apparently, as well... <laughs> so many things I need to say now. You don't have to blow these up. You can just shoot that tank that's on it. Well, that doesn't seem to work, does it? Um, let me try a shotgun. Huh. Yeah, look at that. Who knew? You didn't have to explode everything. Apparently somebody knew, because they told me. Thank you, that person that told me. I don't remember who it was. I don't... I, I don't know what's wrong with my memory. Oh, this has got something. What? Whoa. Field radio. Oh, it's another one of those. I forget what this does. A field radio creates a mobile rendezvous point for you and your friends, allowing them to fast travel to that spot. Can I use that for just me, do you think? Like if I put... I guess I don't need to, do I? Because the only place I'm really going to be fast travelling is um, the safe houses. And the safe houses auto save, so I don't really know. Let's, uh, I'm going to have a loot in here. Ooh, look! Survivor beds. Uh, I, maybe they actually survived? Maybe they didn't. Most, oh, is that a weapon? God damn it. Everything I find is worse or the same as what I've got. I, I had a little whinge about this before. I want all the good things. Apparently there's some amazing weapons in this as well. I saw video footage of this guy using like a bazooka. I was like, you get bazookas in this game? I don't know if it was an actual bazooka if it just looked like one. I'm sure there's a more technical name for it. But I was just like, yeah, I want that. I want that. I want all of that. Seems like a weird gap there. Sorry, I got completely distracted. Uh, well, I mean, I found the potential weapons. So I'm not that worried about the other stuff that's about. Oh, fine, I'll take the damn radio. This game is obsessed with radios and boom boxes and whatnot. To be honest, I'm more interested in going and exploring the uh, the actual lighthouse. I'm just running in. I'm just running in. I'm not paying any attention. What's this? A stun Uden lighthouse. Can I go in there? Oh, there's a weapon here. Yay. Please be a good one. Please be a good weapon. 
Oh, I, I mean, let's have a look in my inventory quick. Yeah, so I've got basic version, dilapidated versions of these, but I've got worn versions of everything else. So, I mean, I've literally got the worst and second worst quality weapons. It would be nice, excuse me, add a little burp, if I could find something awesome. Ooh, that looks like a rifle. Is it better than the one I've got? It's the same. It's 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 a worn hunting rifle, and I'm using a worn hunting rifle. It's a little depressing at this point. Let me chop that. I'm gonna just. Oh, what am I doing? Just sort out my ammo a little bit because it gets a little bit. It fills up your inventory so quickly, ammunition. There we go. Um, don't know if I've got any more ammo for that. Oh, no. Oh, I'm at max, so that's cool. So two of two. Oh, well, that wasn't a great looting session. I, I didn't get anything better, but, I mean, the chance was there. And if I don't go and do the exploration stuff, I'm not going to have the weapons I want for the the shooty, panic, oh my god, they're going to kill me, death robot stuff. That's, that's the technical term. Right, I guess I'll head back up the coast then to here. I've got apparently two missions to do here. So if I do that... Let's, uh, oh god, I've got to run all the way back up. There, there might have been a cliff there that I nearly ran off of. Don't really want to have done that. Wouldn't that be a shame? Like, the most embarrassing thing ever. All human life in this area has been eradicated by killer robots, and I accidentally run off a cliff and, you know, break my spine or something. It sounds like something I'd do as well, because I'm a clumsy oaf. And I trip over everything. I fall over things when there's nothing to fall over. I just trip over my own foot for some reason. It's just, I was born without the part of your brain which deals with coordination, so I just fall all the time. Wait. Oh, um, maybe I should stop tracking that. That's going to... Oh, it's actually not there. Sure, right, right, fine. I'm going to have to ignore that then. Let's have another looty lootage. Oh, God, there's quite a few buildings here. I saw something move over there. Don't lie to me, game. I saw you move over here. The thing is, the ambience in this game is so good as well. Like, the leaves... Oh, there's a weapon in this area. The leaves rustle and sway, and there's, like, dust particles in the air. And sometimes you'll see something move, and it's like, Whoa, I'm dead, and it'll just turn out to be a bit of leaf. And other times you're like, Nah, that was a bit of leaf, and this robot comes running out from behind something and eats your face. It doesn't even eat it, it just shoots it off. Okay, well, I'll um, loot this apparently safe place, and uh, I'll do a cut and bring you back. Apparently there's quite a lot to loot here. According to the tip there was, anyway. So, uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, that took longer than expected. I kept missing the the weapon drop. It turned out to be a rifle the same as the one I've got, sadly. But I am convinced that with um, tenacity and stick with it to it, uh, if I keep trying, I'll get something good sooner or later. So I think what I'll do is I'll visit this place and this place, and then I'll call that an episode. It's already a long episode. I'll go back there and save it, and then next episode, even if there's nothing interesting in most of this area, we've... Oh, there's a safe house right there. I didn't realise I had unlocked one. 
My bad. Anyway, yeah, we can go and explore this area. There's at least two quests there, so that should be awesome. But yeah, let's at least go back up towards where we were. I am a bit of a stickler for things like exploration. Um, I like to 100% things. What can I tell you? I'm, uh, as you may know already, kind of pedantic and... Yeah, completionist is the word. I, 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 I like to get everything as often as I can. Anyway, if it's a game like this where I can do a bunch of stuff and then go back later and finish up, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Wow, this was closer than I thought it was. Is there even going to be anything here? Uh, no, it's just a place with a picture of a door again. It's weird that people keep doing that. They make buildings and then put a picture of a door up so you can't get in. Makes you think there's an actual door. All right, then. There's a place there. Let's go up there, then, since this was a nothing building. I, I, I guess they just had some space to fill in or something. I can see so many lights over there, look. Let me just zoom in quickly. That's... Oh, God! Oh, I jumped out of my damn skin. I pressed the right and left mouse... The right and left right. I pressed two buttons at once. Yeah, look at all that stuff going on over there. That's, uh... God damn it, I scared the crap out of myself. Just realised as well, I'm not at full health. Let's uh, sort that out. Oh, God, this is, this is the thing, like, running from there to there, it seems like a long way, but it doesn't take long at all. You go through it so quickly. Let's have a look. It, oh, oh, the swings are swinging. There's life here. Well, it's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Jesus Christ, son of Mogath. How old is that reference? Does anybody watching this even understand that reference? The It's Life Jim But Not As We Know It reference? Post down in the comments if you understand that reference. I'd be interested to know if one person gets it. I'm absolutely showing my age with that. Let's, uh, let's do a quick loot run round here. I'll bring you guys with me. I might as well. We can have a chittity, a chittity chat. A chit... <laughs> A chit chat. God damn, what is wrong with me and my brain and my mouth? A chit chat while we're here. I spend longer talking about how I can't talk than I do actually talking. It's somewhat awkward. Oh, look. Yeah. Television Ock Radio. I am assuming that's television and radio. Yeah, I, I, I speak Swedish now. Ha <laughs> ha! Send me to Sweden, I'll, I'll converse with the locals and it'll be no trouble because, <laughs> although admittedly the only thing I can say to them is television and radio, so... And it probably doesn't even mean that. It might, it might mean television or radio. It might mean no television, only radio. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, so, you learn, like, five words in a language you don't normally speak, and you suddenly feel like you can understand the whole language. Don't get me wrong, it's great when you do understand things in another language, especially when you haven't studied it, but... What book is it? I nearly shot the book. Oh, The text is too low res to tell. Wow, this was not an exciting loot run, was it? Did, did, have I been in there? Was it, yeah, that's the television and radio television station. It's the test signal, that's what it is. The broadcast is off, and so they just broadcast that as well. Or instead, rather. Um, let's have a look at the car, then. Oh, goodies in the car. I've picked up so many clothes, I really should, like, optimise my character so he's using... Because so, some of these clothes have got, like, bullet resistance. Other bits of clothing have... Clothing? Clothing have got uh, explosion resistance. 
I'd like that. I'd like to wear a hat that gives me a resistance to being exploded. Like that one, look. Jump boost. It's red leather shoes that helps me jump. Yep, yeah, whatever. You know, it's an interesting little side bit for people to be able to customise their characters and change gear and stuff like that. Let me... Do you know what? I'll do it later. You guys don't want to see me plough through five different hats and ten different pairs of jeans. Because all I'm going to do is complain that I like the stats and not the look. That's all that's going to happen when I customise my characters. I do it in every game where customization is, like, a big thing. Um, I, I just complain that I hate the look of something, but I like the stats, and I, I never know whether I'm going to wear it or not. And then I'll wear it for a little while and be like, do you know what? I don't like this. I'm going to change it. I don't care if the stats are better. And then I'll get murdered and blame the clothing, and I'll be like, right, I'm changing back then. Obviously, I need that clothing. Yeah. Learning about Son of Mogif with Son of Mogif. Is this... I could have sworn there was another structure here, was there not? Ooh, is there any... Oh, look! There's stuff in the doghouse. I'm assuming this is a doghouse. More commonly referred to as a kennel. God damn. I might as well call it a... I call a barn a cow house. I did that in one of my Seven Days to Die Let's Plays. I couldn't remember the word pigsty. So I called it a, a pig house and a pig barn and a pig pen, I think. I called it all sorts of things. But anyway, I'm going to have to leave it there. Not the most exciting episode. We did get a relay beacon. We did find a bunch of guns that weren't better. And we did some exploration. We actually did a lot of exploration. We started here. We went all the way down here. And then we came all the way back up again. So next episode... There's going to be definitely something happening because there's stuff there and there's two quests. There's a thing there that looks somewhat suspicious as well. And I mean, look at all this. I've got to go up onto this bit of island and then up onto the mainland. And there's so much to do. I'm just reeling from the amount that I haven't done yet. You know, let me... Uh, what, my, what, what was I doing? What was I doing? I don't know what I was doing. I was doing a thing. There we go. Uh, fast travel. See, that? there's a thing there that... Oh. Again, I was trying to point with the cursor and it didn't really work. Oh, God. Did did the spider bots respawn? I need to... Oh, I want to check that just in case. Uh... Spider bots? Oh, 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 that thing seems to be fairly active. Wait, oh, I swapped to the wrong weapon. God damn, is that going to respawn every time I'm in here? Because I don't like having. I, I nearly said monsters. Oh, uh, killer robots in my safe house. Especially when I'm not entirely sure where the fastest way out is either. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna run back. Where's that safe room? There it is. Are you gonna save now that I'm here? Yeah, I, I'm just gonna do another test actually. If I safe travel to the place, fast travel to the place where I already am, will it save again? It does. <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Generation Zero. I love this game, and I want to play it so much and um yeah i want to play it with you guys because other people seem to like it so i'm son of mogef this is generation zero i'm gonna shut the hell up and get this video ready for you guys to watch and i'll see you soon